Hello, everybody. Listen. <clears throat> Today, I had a really serious, serious talk with somebody. And it really disturbed me. I'm making some coffee, so you got to excuse me. But it really disturbed me. Yes, I am drinking coffee this time of day. I drink coffee all day. All day. And then I had one big cup right before I go to bed. I don't know why I can sleep. But this is serious, so I got to talk to you about it. I had a real serious conversation with someone today. Now, check this out. I don't know why so many people are contemplating checking out, man. So many people are contemplating suicide right now. It's blowing my mind. And everybody's looking at this stuff around them. And because I think it's so because of the gap is getting wider and the things are getting so much tougher on everybody and they don't see any hope. And it's just like being like confined in the, like a Palestinian area, being confined and you don't really see any hope, being confined in a ghetto and you don't see any hope. I guess it's that's kind of the same thing. But and the reason I'm having this, this <clears throat> talk today is a friend of mine who I thought I knew well, well, I still think I know well, called me and was talking about he wanted to give up. He was talking about how he was fed up and how he had tried everything and, and, and how, how he felt like, you know, God had abandoned him and, you know, he tried to do right and, you know, uh, and, you know, he was about to lose hope and, you know, what is the reason for going on? He tried everything and, you know, this and this and this and this and this and this and then, and, and I'm saying, and how then it turned into him blaming God. Okay, so first of all, he started going into, you know, how God had abandoned him and how he tried to do the right thing. And I know the nigga. So the nigga ain't doing all right things because I know some of the things the nigga doing. And they don't ain't contrary to what God is all about. So, but I listened. And he went on to say, because he was really sad and depressed and distressed. And I was literally thinking about I was literally thinking about calling and saying to uh, somebody, hey guys, listen, you might want to check him out. I was thinking about calling somebody and saying, hey, you guys might want to check this guy out. I was actually thinking about texting that while I was talking to him because he was talking crazy about, you know, you know, maybe I don't need to be here. Maybe it's my time to leave, you know. If God don't care about me, who he'll care about me? If nobody here, all of that, all of that. And they kept going back to what God and God and God and God and God. I'm like, hold, 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 slow down, nigga, slow down. You cannot blame God for your situation. You cannot blame God for your situation. How in the hell are you going to blame God for your situation? Okay. And he was like, well, you know, I pray God help me. I pray God help me. I always pray God help me. God ain't giving me no damn help. I'm still in the same position. But, dude, and you, and I was so sad for two reasons. I was sad for one that he feels like that's the only way out. That's the only solution is to give up and just go check out. And the mere fact that he was talking about God in the context of, you know, God and God, maybe he was abandoning him at that faith, that moment of low faith. Now, let me break something down to you. The same thing I broke down to him. Listen, God protects where God directs. God is not like an ATM, dude. Listen to me. He was like, well, you know, I did good. You know, I did good. And you told me that if I do good, I can expect God to help me. Well, yeah, I did good. But here's the thing. God will help you. When he know you needs it, when he'll, he'll help you and supply your needs. He won't help you when you want it. He's not going to give you the things you want when you want them. And he's not even going give to give you the things that you need when you want them. Because the, even the things that you need when you want them, if you're not in the right mental state, in the right place of, of, of staunch, strong integrity, even the things that you need will destroy you. God doesn't supply your needs when you want them. 
God doesn't supply the things you want when you want them. He doesn't even supply your needs when you want them. He will supply your needs when he knows that by supplying your needs, it will satisfy that need and not cause further damage. And the only way that can happen is, is you got, I, I'll give you an example. You have to build your faith. It's all about faith. And when you lose faith, and that's what I said to him, dude, you just losing faith. I'm not losing faith. I have faith. And where God at? Let me explain to you how this works, little brother. Let me show you how this works. Okay, let's just take this over here, for instance. Let's just say this is 2019. Okay? This is 2025. This is 2025, 2025, and this is 2019. So now you're in 2019, and you do something really, 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 really good. Right here. All of this is here, right here. You like this. Okay, yeah. You, and you told me, Miguel, that you can expect God to bless you. I told you that. Yes, I did tell you you can expect God to bless you. So now, you're over here. You're over here in 2009. You did something really, really good, and you're expecting God to bless you for it. This is where your faith comes in. I'm going to go back down here so you can get the lesson. Now, God is looking down and saying, okay, over here in 2009, 20, 21, I have a huge blessing. Who do I want to bless? Oh, you know what? How about I bless him for what he did right here? Now, I could bless him here or here or here, but I'm going to bless him here in 2020 because this blessing I got for him in 2020 is going to blow everything away. It's going to put him on another level. So God has set aside a blessing for you right here. You over here, and you did something really good. Now, all of this time in here, you like, God, where God at? I did all of this. I ain't getting nothing. I ain't getting nothing the next year. Where God all of this? You go all of these years cussing God because you didn't get nothing here. Having, I, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. And right here where God has predestined and set your blessing, Right before you got there, because you wanted your blessing when you wanted it, all throughout all of this, and then talk yourself out of your blessing, because now you get right here, right before your blessing. Go, you know what? Damn God, God ain't you know that I God ain't no God, ain't no God, you know God, 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 God. And people, listen, God has the blessings preordained and preset for him over there, but he lost faith before his time came. Don't expect God to give you some blessing when the hell you want it. Goes back to some people I know who keep playing for a million dollars, and if God was to bless them with a million dollars tomorrow in a year, they'd be dead. Period. He won't give you what you want till you build up your integrity. Now, he keeps blaming God, talking about God did this and God did that, you know, and now he's, when, when you get into those positions and those low positions, that's why you always go to God because that's when those evil spirits start attacking you. Now they know you down and they know your spirit is weak and now they want you to attack your spirit and they want you to take your life. Listen to me, you are special. You are, uh, no matter where you are right now in your life, no matter how down you are, nobody can count you out. I was as low as you can possibly be. I've been to the tip top of the mountain. I've flown in private jets. I've, 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 I've been on uh, uh, 20, 30, 40. I've been on $100 million yachts for vacation in St. Saint, Saint Bart's for Christmas on board mega yachts. I've also eaten off trash cans in downtown LA and, and had to go get poison sprayed on me to get rid of lice from the streets, living in the streets when I was coming up pursuing my dream. All of those times I could have easily given up. I could have easily said, you know, ain't no God. Why God gonna put me down here? Why God gonna let me do? Why would God bring me out here, tell me I'm gonna be an actor and ain't gonna let me put through this? I could have went through all of those things. You're always sub sub subjected to go through those doubts, but it's called faith for a reason. And I decided that I was gonna hold on to faith no matter what. No matter what, 
What do you mean? How you? There were so many people saying, nigga, you eating off the trash. You ain't got no money. You're broke. You're bored. You're, 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 you're broke. You're black. You're ugly. How in the hell you keep telling me you're going to be a rich movie star? How the hell are you going to tell me that? I just did. I had the faith. I knew it. I had the faith. That's the same kind of faith you got to have. Now, people say, well, where's God? You had a mass shooting at the school. Where was God? Well, first of all, God, you told God he can't go in schools no more. Let's not forget that. God protects where God directs. You told him he can't go into schools no more. We're taking God out of everything, and we're losing our faith, and we're so shaken by that. And once you lose your spiritual faith, that's when you become subject to evil evil influence. I won't go any further than that. I won't say dumb because I don't want to call anybody dumb when you're down because there's so many people are talking, contemplating, thinking, and I'm reading in more and more suicides every day. Look it up online. Teenagers, kids are giving up and there's no reason to. I don't care where you are. No matter. I promise you, you could be below everybody you know. You could have one follower. They could all have 375 million and you could have one follower. You can have one picture, you can have 100 pictures with 12 likes, and you have one friend who has 350 million followers and 250 million followers. But in 20 years from now, or five years from now, in, in 10 years from now, you're going to be a billionaire, a multi, multi, multi millionaire. And that same person with all those millions of followers and millions of likes are going to just be your friend and somebody coming over to borrow money from you at time because a little uh, blog shit going to fade and fade and fade and, and all of that's going to happen. Listen to me. It, none of that stuff matters. None of that matters. You are special and stop blaming God. We got to remember one thing. We can't blame God for stuff that happens here on earth. So let me break it down to you. God is not responsible for anything that happens here on earth. God is not responsible for anything that happens here on earth. And I'll explain it to you. In Genesis, it says, God told man, and you gotta leave me here, I give thee, man, I give thee, thee, dominion over earth, the fowls of the sea, the birds of the sea, blah, 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 blah. He gave man dominion over earth. So God ain't coming in here, stepping inside, you know, breaking his own law, breaking his own rule, going, yeah, psh, hold on one second, hold on one second. Hold on one second. No more guns in school. God doesn't do that. God gave man dominion over earth. Man is responsible for what happens here on earth. Man is responsible for the tragedies, the stuff that happens here on earth. Now, if we want God to intervene here on earth he has to be invited he has to be to be asked and that is done through prayer you have to pray and you have to invite him in god is not responsible god gave man dominion over earth all the fowl of the, 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 the birds in the air fish in the sea man has dominion man is responsible for what goes on down here so stop blaming god if you want god to intervene you pray and if you get enough people together and you pray hard enough he can and will intervene it is real it is true all the stuff you heard about christians and all of these miracles happening all of that stuff you find so hard to believe that takes faith trust me it's real it's been happening in my life every single since day since i was born I was walking downtown on L.A. In, in, in Christmas Eve with no money, no, hadn't eaten in weeks, and looked down and found $180 two seconds after I prayed, walk out of a movie theater in the middle of the night on Christmas Eve, on Christmas Day, because it was Christmas then, Christmas Eve when I went to the theater, come out and there's a big-ass big ass present wrapped in white with a white bowl just sitting there on the street. There is a God, and I'm telling you, don't. Don't think about taking your own life. It's the worst thing you can do. I don't care. Nothing can be as bad as you think. Nothing is bad as you think. I promise you nothing is bad as you think. If you think about taking your own life, if you seriously think about having your own life, contact me at mnunezjr1 at gmail.com.
and I'll talk to you. Just say, I need to talk. And I promise you, you, I'll show you a million reasons why you shouldn't. I don't care what those little voices are trying to tell you. Yeah, that's what they post about trying to do. It's not real. And God is not responsible for anything that is happening in your life. And sometimes God has to build up our courage. Sometimes God has to build up our spirit. Sometimes he has to build up our integrity so that and he can come into our life and help us. Because sometimes the help we need, if we're not ready for it, it will destroy us. A lot of most times people are asking God for things. You don't have to ask God for anything. God knows everything about your life. And if you're praying to God, you have to know that he's God or you wouldn't be praying. And if you're praying to God, you have to know he's God. And if you have to believe he's God, you wouldn't be praying. And if you do, you have to know that he doesn't, you don't need to ask him for anything because he knows all about your life. So you shouldn't be asking him. You should be thanking him every day, asking him for direction, for forgiveness, uh, um, um, uh, for, for thinking. Well, you don't have to ask him to forgive you for your sins. Your sins were already forgiven. Just ask him to forgive you for the things you think wrong, thought wrong, that kind of a thing. Just show it. You'll see. You know, and that, and even if you don't believe it, and you just start to do it and watch what happens. Faith is the key. And again, uh, to my friend, I'm glad we talked. Because um, by the time I got off the phone, um, I actually made him laugh, which was a good sign. Um, and um, I think he's in a better place. But it made me think about how he was, he wanted to give up so fast and how he was blaming God. And I don't know if that was a part of just, just looking for somebody uh, or, or to blame or looking for uh, uh, a reason a reason for something he was thinking about doing, but I can, I really felt like he was, but I'm glad to say that, uh, I didn't feel like that hanging out, but I'm still worried as you can see. I don't know. I just don't want to get the call. I just, it was, it was horrible because I've never had that. I mean, and it was somebody who's always, yeah, 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 yeah. So you never know. You never know. Anyway, God bless you guys. Thanks for listening. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.